What's going on guys, Nathan here. Today I wanna to talk about the five millionaire poker tips that changed my life and I think they might help you have some more success at the poker tables as well. All right guys, so if any of you know my story, I played the game of poker professionally, mostly online, low stakes and mid stakes cash games for over 10 years. I've written three books on the game, so on and so forth. This game has been very good for me. I've also been traveling the world for over 10 years now, but the vast majority of people who play poker never end up having any kind of success in this game. And these are the five lessons that I wish somebody had told me, actually somebody did tell me I had a high stakes mentor early on in my career, and that's how fortunately I got to know a lot of these things. So let's jump right into it, counting down from five to one. These are the five poker millionaire tips that you need to know. Number five, guys, is that you are good enough. A lot of people really kind of need to hear this these days. And what do I mean by this? I mean that you probably know enough to be able to succeed, definitely in small stakes games and probably mid stakes as well. For most of you guys watching this video right now, I'm going to assume you take the game of poker relatively seriously. Not a lot of amateurs watch my videos or weekend warriors because they're not interested in improving and in learning. And unfortunately for a lot of people who watch my videos, they don't realize that they probably have the skills already to succeed in these games. And it's really just a mental adjustment. My high stakes coach early on in my career, who was playing at the time 5,000 and 10,000 dollar buy-in games while I was playing $50 games on the internet, he sat me down one day and he said, Nathan, you need to understand that the players in my games are not substantially better than the ones in your $50 games. I mean, he would watch me live playing poker, commenting on my play, helping me improve. And so he got to see what the players were doing in my small stakes games versus his. And what he told me is that the only difference is, is that the players in his high stakes games simply had a higher degree of confidence confidence in their poker game and they simply quite frankly had the money to be playing in those games and I can tell you that having played poker at a lot higher stakes now over the years that I have found this to be undoubtedly true that as you move up it's not like you're facing a bunch of poker geniuses guys you're just facing people that have more money to play poker and are more confident in their abilities and how do you get confidence in poker and get a big bankroll it's by consistently getting in there putting in the hours and getting real results in the game. And if you don't know the basic strategy to use, I do have a free poker cheat sheet, which will be the top link in the description below. But moving on to number four, which ties right into this, is you need to move up aggressively. Guys, as I've said in these videos before, nobody gets rich playing the micros. While 90% of people do play small stakes poker and they never unfortunately move up to mid or high stakes, you need to understand, guys, that if you ever want to make real money in poker, you have to move up to at least mid stakes or high stakes. This is one of the biggest reasons why literally 95% of people never make significant money in poker. It's because they're playing $10 games, $50 games on the internet, or they're playing at a $1, $2 cash game in the casino. Guys, there's nothing wrong with cutting your teeth in these games, with learning the fundamentals, but you should be looking to move up aggressively. Now you do need to have the right bankroll. I'm not saying to go jump into the thousand dollar games, the five thousand dollar games, when you literally only have 10k to your name. That's a very, very bad strategy and I'm not gonna get deep into bankroll management in this video. I've made other videos here on the channel talking about that before. But bottom line guys, you don't want to sit in small stakes games for too long. I made this mistake myself. Believe me guys, it's not the way forward to success in this game. You need to move up aggressively and also move down aggressively. So what a lot of people don't understand is that you can't can take shots in poker and most of them are gonna fail by the way most of my shot when I tried to move up to the next limit I got smacked back down and where a lot of people go wrong is they get their ego wrapped up and they don't want to move back down again and the problem is is that they end up losing way too much money and end up losing 50% of their bankroll or more and this is psychologically devastating so guys bottom line move up and down in this game aggressively and I think you're gonna have a lot more success all right moving on to millionaire poker tip number three and that is to hire a coach early on. And along with coaching, I'm also gonna say, read a lot of poker books and invest in poker training courses as well. There is more material out there than ever before these days. I literally had nothing to go on when I was starting out in this game nearly 20 years ago. I will include my recommendations in the description below. But guys, really what this is going to do, whether you hire a coach, read high-level poker books, or enroll in high-level training courses, it's going to give you the skills that you need to know to start 
rapidly moving up the stakes and having more success. Guys, there is no reason to do everything on your own these days. You know, basically do what I did and play millions and millions of hands and have to learn everything the dumb way by having to see the same situation hundreds or thousands of times. When you can have somebody who's been there, done that, learn from a professional the right way to play early on in your career, you're just going to have a lot more success. Moving on to millionaire poker tip number two, which is that the simple play is usually the right play. This is also something that fortunately I did learn early on in my poker career is that the vast majority of people do not have success in this game because they massively overthink and overanalyze every single situation. Guys, you can see it all over the internet. People are literally arguing about 2% edges. You know, they're spending hours and hours studying GTO theory and solver analysis for every single hand they play. Guys, this stuff is never going to get you ahead. It might make you the smartest coolest sounding poker nerd on the internet, but it's not going to get you real success at the poker tables. Guys, usually the most simple play is the right one. If you've got top pair, just raise it. Especially if you're playing in small stakes games, you don't need to get tricky against other players. You don't need to know the exact math. You just need to make the most basic, obvious plays and let them overthink the situation. So you got a big hand, bet, raise, you got nothing, just check and fold. Don't try to get fancy, guys. Don't try to make crazy sophisticated plays because your favorite high stakes guru or some solver program or GTO theory told you that, that you should be check raising your ace deuce on the river 15% of the time. Guys, please just keep it simple and I think you're going to have a lot more success in this game. And that brings me on to my final poker millionaire tip number one, which is that you must realize guys that the game of poker is all in your head. It's all up there guys. This is something that unfortunately took me a very long time to understand in this game. I had a terrible tilt problem for so many years. I would fly off the handle. Anyone who's read my poker blog, especially in the early days, and I feel bad for them if they did because those entries were often really, really ranty and bad and, you know, quitting the game of poker every other week because I couldn't handle the routine ups and downs of this game. And unfortunately, guys, this is what holds back 95% of people from ever getting real success in this game is that they're on a constant emotional roller coaster in this game depending on the results lately if they've been having good results they're happy if they're having bad results and they literally wear their emotions on their sleeve at the poker table and it ends up directly influencing their play I've said it before guys you can study all of the most highest level poker theory available these days but if you're gonna throw it all out the window in the heat of the moment because you get emotional about a bad beat or a couple coolers there's no point in even studying all that stuff in the first place. Guys, you need to be able to consistently execute on the game plan again and again at the poker table in order to have real success in this game. And this is literally where the rubber meets the road. This is literally where that handful of elite poker players gets ahead in this game. Most people change their game plan, change their strategy based on their emotions. And if you ever want to have real success in this game, guys, you need to start making the right play every single time, no matter how you feel in the moment. Guys, like and subscribe if you found this one helpful. If you wanna know my complete strategy for crushing small and mid stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks for watching guys, I will catch you next time.